Hi, welcome to this tutorial on Java from Dethys.com. Let's now try to understand a bit about um, the string object. So, what is a string, where you can use a string, and what are the different methods available in a string. That's what we are going to uh, learn during this tutorial. Uh, let's go ahead and create a string spike test. Uh, I call it a spike because it is something I would spike is something which I do to learn about some concept here I'm going to learn about spring so a spike is something I use to learn about some concept here I'm going to learn about a string so use this spike for a string so I'd start with add test annotation that's basically to create a JUnit test and I would import the org.j unit um, there is not really needed for the spring spike but I really feel comfortable writing JUnits to learn stuff. So let's see how we do that. So public void, I want to test a uh, string creation, let's say, for example. Um, how do you create a string? So a string is something which is a sequence of characters. So a string str is nothing but a sequence of characters. It can be A, B, C, D, E, F. So that's basically a string. Now. Uh, the most important thing about a string is a string is immutable. 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 What does that mean? It means that once created, a string object cannot be modified. I can do str is equal to, let's say, instead of a b c d e f g h, I can say test. But this is actually what this does is create a new object, new string object for test and put the reference to that in str so here what is not happening is the earliest uh, like the earlier string a b c d e f exists but what happens is there's a new string which is created and the value of the the string which was pointing to a b c d e f would now point to test that's basically what happens uh, also if you look at the methods which are present in the string none of them actually modify the string itself so if I do str.concat a string, actually let's say I want to do a concatenation operation. So I want to add a, b, c, d, e, f. To that I want to add in, I'll just remove this lines of code in between. To this I want to add in g, h. And I would check whether Okay, let's, if we do that, I want to check whether assert equals str Sorry, I would want to check that A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, STR. So basically what we are doing here, uh, I'll fix the import. So I do a static import on the assert. So yeah, uh, what we are checking in here is after concatenating G, H, whether the value inside the string is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Actually, it's not. Let's run this JUnit and see. Right click run as JUnit. You can look at what it says. Actually, it's expecting A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, but the actual result which it got at that particular point is A, B, C, D, E, F. So this string modif string object which we have created is not being modified. What happens here is actually a new string gets created. Let's say concatenated string is equal to so a new string get created the existing st string remains as it is so if I actually do a assert on the existing string it still remains a b c d e f so if I run the test right now it succeeds because the original string is not modified what happens is a b c d e f g h is appended sorry a b c d e f which is the str is appended with g h and the concatenated string is written back but the original string remains as it is that's what we mean when we say a string is an immutable object you cannot change the value inside the string you can change the reference to point to somewhere else but the string itself is an immutable object okay now let's learn about the equality of strings so when are two strings considered equal so 
I can do something of this kind actually test equality. I'm just creating a new test so that it's very clear. Um, str is equal to some ABCD here. String second string is equal to again with the same value. Uh, if I say assert true is the method to check whether the value return is true. I'll just do a control one also to oops. Um, I said true, I would pass in a value um, str is equal to second string. So I'm using the comparison operator to check this would succeed. It comes back as true, but this is not the recommended thing to do. If you really want to compare two strings, the best way to compare them is using the equals ignores equals method. So if you use the equals method and do this string comparison, that's the best way to do it. Even though the is equal to is equal to works sometimes, it might fail because internally these two can be two different strings. What when you are using is equal to is equal to what you are actually looking at is the references of str and the second string. So if they are pointing to the same object, it returns true, but it's not actually testing the content of the str and the second string. So it's not when I actually let's give better names. So first string. Even when the first string actually uh, equals the second string, if I use is equal to is equal to, it actually compares the references and not the content. If you want to count, uh, compare the content of the two strings, the best way to do that is using equals. Uh, there is another method called equals ignore case. So let's say I create a third string. And this is small. I can actually use, uh, I want to check whether uh, the third string, uh, which has a small f equals ignore case second string. So that's true. So that's good. What you see here is that uh, the equals and equals ignore case are is the best way to compare we will learn a lot more about strings string utility functions in the next tutorial we are creating more videos as we speak and if you want to stay updated don't forget to click the subscribe button if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and feel free to share this video thanks for watching until next time